don't just read ncert listen it and feel it textbook of chemistry class 12th chapter 15 polymers narrated by bakar riaz copolymerization has been used by nature in polypeptides which may contain as many as 20 different amino acids chemists are still far behind do you think that dairy life would have been easier and colorful without the discovery and varied applications of polymers the use of polymers in the manufacture of plastic buckets cups and saucers children's toys packaging bags synthetic clothing materials automobile tires gears and seals electrical insulating materials and machine parts has completely revolutionized the daily life as well as the industrial scenario indeed the polymers indeed the polymers are the backbone of four major industries that is plastics elastomers fibers and paints and varnishes the word polymer is coined from two greek words poly means many and mer means unit or part the term polymer is defined as very large molecules having high molecular mass that is 10 raised to power 3 to 10 raised to power 7 u these are also referred to as macromolecules which are formed by joining of repeating structural units on a large scale the repeating structural units are derived from some simple and reactive molecules known as monomers and are linked to each other by covalent bonds this process of formation of polymers from respective monomers is called polymerization the transformation of ethene to polyethene and interaction of hexamethylene diamine and adipic acid leading to the formation of nylon 66 are examples of two different types of polymerization reactions topic 15.1 classification of polymers there are several ways of classification of polymers based on some special considerations the following are some of the common classification of polymers subtopic 15.1.1 classification based on source under this type of classification there are three subcategories first natural polymers these polymers are found in plants and animals examples are proteins cellulose starch some resins and rubber second semi synthetic polymers cellulose derivatives as cellulose acetate that is rayon and cellulose nitrate etc are the usual examples of this subcategory third synthetic polymers a variety of synthetic polymers as plastic polyethylene synthetic fibers that is nylon 66 and synthetic rubbers that is buna s are examples of man made polymers extensively used in daily life as well as in industry subtopic 15.1.2 classification based on structure of polymers subtopic 15.1.2 classification based on structure of polymers there are three different types based on the structure of the polymers first linear polymers these polymers consist of long and straight chains the examples are high density polyethylene polyvinyl chloride etc second branch chain polymers these polymers contain linear chains having some branches examples low density polyethylene third cross linked or network polymers These are usually formed from bifunctional and trifunctional monomers and contain strong covalent bonds between various linear polymer chains. Example: bakelite, melamine, etc. Subtopic 15.1.3 Classification based on mode of polymerization. Polymers can also be classified on the basis of mode of polymerization into two subgroups. First, addition polymers. The addition polymers are formed by the repeated addition of monomer molecules possessing double or triple bonds. Example: the formation of polyethylene from ethene and polypropene 
from propene. However, the addition polymers formed by the polymerization of a single monomeric species are known as homopolymers. Example, polythene. The polymers made by addition polymerization from two different monomers are termed as copolymers. Example, buna S, buna N, etc. Second, condensation polymers. The condensation polymers are formed by repeated condensation reaction between two different bifunctional or trifunctional monomeric units. In these polymerization reactions, the elimination of small molecules such as water, alcohol, hydrogen chloride, etc. take place. The examples are terylene, dacron, nylon 66, nylon 6, etc. For example, nylon 66 is formed by the condensation of hexamethylene diamine with adipic acid. Subtopic 15.1.4 classification based on molecular forces. A large number of polymer applications in different fields depend upon their unique mechanical properties like tensile strength, like tensile strength, elasticity, toughness, etc. These mechanical properties are governed by intermolecular forces, example van der Waals forces and hydrogen bonds present in the polymer. These forces also bind the polymer chains under this category, the polymers are classified into the following four subgroups on the basis of magnitude of intermolecular forces present in them. First, elastomers. These are rubber-like solids with elastic properties. In these elastomeric polymers, the polymer chains are held together by the weakest intermolecular forces. These weak binding forces permit the polymer to be stretched a few crosslinks are introduced in between the chains which help the polymer to retract to its original position after the force is released as in vulcanized rubber. The examples are Buna S, Buna N, Neoprene, etc. Second, Fibers. Fibers are the thread-forming solids which possess high tensile strength and high modulus. These characteristics can be attributed to the strong intermolecular forces like hydrogen bonding. These strong forces also led to close packing of chains and thus impart crystalline nature. The examples are polyamides that is nylon 66, polyesters that is terylene, etc. Third, thermoplastic polymers. These are the linear or slightly branched long chain molecules capable of repeatedly softening on heating and hardening on cooling. These polymers possess intermolecular forces of attraction intermediate between elastomers and fibers. Some common thermoplastics are polythene, polystyrene, polyvinyls, etc. Fourth, thermosetting polymers. These polymers are cross These polymers are cross-linked or heavily branched molecules which on heating undergo extensive cross-linking in molds and again become infusible. These cannot be reused. Some common examples are bakelite, urea formaldehyde resins, etc. Subtopic 15.1.5 Classification based on growth polymerization The addition and condensation polymers are nowadays also referred as chain growth polymers and step growth polymers depending on the type of polymerization mechanism they undergo during their formation. Topic 15.2 Types of Polymerization Reactions There are two broad types of polymerization reactions, that is, the addition or chain growth polymerization and condensation or step growth polymerization. Subtopic 15.2.1 Addition Polymerization or Chain Growth Polymerization in this type of polymerization, the molecules of the same monomer or different monomers add together on a large scale to form a polymer. The monomers used are unsaturated compounds, example alkenes, alkadienes, and their derivatives. This mode of polymerization, leading to an increase in chain length or chain growth, can take place through the formation of either free radicals or ionic species. However, the free radical governed addition 
or chain growth polymerization is the most common mode. First, free radical mechanism. A variety of alkenes or dienes and their derivatives are polymerized in the presence of a free radical generating initiator that is catalyst like benzoyl peroxide, acetyl peroxide, tert-butyl peroxide, etc. For example, the polymerization of ethene to polyethene consists of heating or exposing to light a mixture of ethene with a small amount of benzoyl peroxide initiator. The process starts with the addition of phenyl free radical formed by the peroxide to the ethene double bond, thus generating a new and larger free radical. As this radical reacts with another molecule of ethene, another bigger sized radical is formed. The repetition of this sequence with new and bigger radicals carries the reaction forward and the step is termed as chain propagating step. Ultimately, at some stage, the product radical thus formed reacts with another radical to form the polymerized product. This step is called the chain terminating step. The sequence of steps may be depicted as follows. Chain initiation steps, chain propagation steps, chain terminating step. For termination of the long chain, these free radicals can combine in different ways to form polythene. One mode of termination of chain is shown as under. Second, preparation of some important addition polymers. First, polythene. There are two types of polythene as given below. First, low density polythene. It is obtained by the polymerization of ethene under high pressure of 1000 to 2000 atmospheres at a temperature of 350 Kelvin to 570 Kelvin in the presence of traces of dioxygen or a peroxide initiator that is catalyst. The low density polythene obtained through the free radical addition and hydrogen atom abstraction has highly branched structure. Low density polythene is chemically inert and tough but flexible and a poor conductor of electricity. Hence, it is used in the insulation of electricity carrying wires and manufacture of squeeze bottles, toys and flexible pipes. Second, high density polythene. It is formed when addition polymerization of ethene takes place in a hydrocarbon solvent in the presence of a catalyst such as triethyl aluminium and titanium tetrachloride, Ziegler Nata catalyst, at a temperature of 333 Kelvin to 343 Kelvin and under a high pressure of 67 atmospheres. High density polythene, that is HDP, thus produced consists of linear molecules and has a high density due to close packing. It is also chemically inert and more tough and hard. It is used for manufacturing buckets, dust beans, bottles, pipes, etc. B. Polytetrafluoroethene, that is Teflon. Teflon is manufactured by heating tetrafluoroethene with a free radical or persulfate catalyst at a high pressure. It is chemically inert and resistant to attack by corrosive reagents. It is used in making oil seals and gaskets and also used for non-stick surface coated utensils. C. Polyacrylonitrile The addition polymerization of acrylonitrile in presence of a peroxide catalyst leads to the formation of polyacrylonitrile. Polyacrylonitrile, that is PAN, is used as a substitute for wool in making commercial fibers as Orlone or Acrylan. Subtopic 15.2.2 Condensation Polymerization or Step Growth Polymerization This type of polymerization generally involves a repetitive condensation reaction between two bifunctional monomers. These polycondensation reactions may result in the loss of some simple molecules as water, alcohol, etc and lead to the formation of high molecular mass condensation polymers. In these reactions, the product of each step is again a bifunctional species and the sequence of condensation goes on. Since each step produces a distinct functionalized species and is independent of each other, this process is also called as step growth polymerization. The formation of terylene or dacron by the interaction of ethylene glycol 
and terephthalic acid is an example of this type of polymerization. Some important condensation polymerization reactions characterized by their linking units are described below. First, polyamides. These polymers possessing amide linkages are important examples of synthetic fibers and are termed as nylons. The general method of preparation consists of the condensation polymerization of diamines with dicarboxylic acids and also of amino acids and their lactams. Preparation of Nylons First, Nylon 66. It is prepared by the condensation polymerization of hexamethylene diamine with adipic acid under high pressure and at high temperature. Nylon 66 is used in making sheets, bristles for brushes, and in textile industry. Second, Nylon 6. It is obtained by heating caprolactam with water at a high temperature. Nylon 6 is used for the manufacture of tire cords, fabrics, and ropes. Second, polyesters. These are the polycondensation products of dicarboxylic acids and dioles. Dacron or terylene is the best known example of polyesters. It is manufactured by heating a mixture of ethylene glycol and terephthalic acid at 420 to 460 Kelvin in the presence of zinc acetate antimony trioxide catalyst as per the reaction given earlier. Dacron fiber that is terylene is crease resistant and is used in blending with cotton and wool fibers and also as glass reinforcing materials in safety helmets etc. Third, phenol formaldehyde polymer that is bakelite and related polymers. Phenol formaldehyde polymers are the oldest synthetic polymers. These are obtained by the condensation reaction of phenol with formaldehyde in the presence of either an acid or a base catalyst. The reaction starts with the initial formation of ortho and para-hydroxymethyl phenol derivatives, which further react with phenol to form compounds having rings joined to each other through CH2 groups. The initial product could be a linear product, Novolac used in paints. Novolac on heating with formaldehyde undergoes cross-linking to form an insoluble solid mass called bakelite. It is used for making comps, phonograph records, electrical switches, and handles of various utensils. Fourth, Malamine formaldehyde polymer. Malamine formaldehyde polymer is formed by the condensation polymerization of malamine and formaldehyde. It is used in the manufacture of unbreakable crockery. Subtopic 15.2.3 Copolymerization Copolymerization is a polymerization reaction in which a mixture of more than one monomeric species is allowed to polymerize and form a copolymer. The copolymer can be made not only by chain growth polymerization but by step growth polymerization also. It contains multiple units of each monomer used in the same polymeric chain. For example, a mixture of 1,3-butadiene and styrene can form a copolymer. Copolymers have properties quite different from homopolymers. For example, butadiene styrene copolymer is quite tough and is a good substitute for natural rubber. It is used for the manufacture of auto tires, floor tiles, footwear components, cable insulation, etc. Subtopic 15.2.4 Rubber First, Natural Rubber Rubber is also a natural polymer. Rubber is a natural polymer and possesses elastic properties. It is also termed as elastomer and has a variety of uses. It is manufactured from rubber latex, which is a colloidal dispersion of rubber in water. This latex is obtained from the bark of rubber tree and is found in India, Sri Lanka, Indonesia, Malaysia, and South America. Natural rubber may be considered as a linear polymer of isoprene that is 2-methyl-1,3-butadiene and is also called as cis-1,4-polyisoprene. The cis-polyisoprene molecule consists of various chains held together by weak van der Waal interactions and has a coiled structure. Thus, it can be stretched like a spring and exhibits elastic properties. Vulcanization of rubber 
natural rubber becomes soft at high temperatures that is greater than 335 kelvin and brittle at low temperatures that is less than 283 kelvins and shows high water absorption capacity it is soluble in non polar solvent and is non resistant to attack by oxidizing agents to improve upon these physical properties a process of vulcanization is carried out this process consists of heating a mixture of low rubber with sulfur and an appropriate additive at temperature range between 373 kelvin to 415 kelvin on vulcanization sulfur forms cross links at the reactive sites of double bonds and thus the rubber gets stiffened in the manufacture of tire rubber 5% of sulfur is used as a cross linking agent the probable structures of vulcanized rubber molecules are depicted below second synthetic rubbers synthetic rubber is any vulcanizable rubber like polymer which is capable of getting stretched to twice its length however it returns to its original shape and size as soon as the external stretching force is released thus synthetic rubbers are either homopolymers of 1,3 butadiene derivatives or copolymers of 1,3 butadiene or its derivatives with another unsaturated monomer preparation of synthetic rubbers first neoprene neoprene or polychloroprene is formed by the free radical polymerization of chloroprene it has superior resistance to vegetable and mineral oils it is used for manufacturing conveyor belts gaskets and hoses second buna n you have already studied about buna s in section 15.1.3 Buna N is obtained by the copolymerization of 1,3 butadiene and acrylonitrile in the presence of a peroxide catalyst. It is resistant to the action of petrol, lubricating oil, and organic solvents. It is used in making oil seals, tank lining, etc. Topic 15.3 Molecular Mass of Polymers Polymer properties are closely related to their molecular mass, size, and structure. The growth of the polymer chain during their synthesis is dependent upon the availability of the monomers in the reaction mixture. Thus, the polymer sample contains chains of varying lengths and hence its molecular mass is always expressed as an average. The molecular mass of polymers can be determined by chemical and physical methods. Topic 15.4 Biodegradable Polymers A large number of polymers are quite resistant to the environmental degradation processes and are thus responsible for the accumulation of polymeric solid waste materials these solid wastes cause acute environmental problems and remain ungraded for quite a long time in view of the general awareness and concern for the problems created by the polymeric solid wastes certain new biodegradable synthetic polymers have been designed and developed these polymers contain functional groups similar to the functional groups present in biopolymers. Aliphatic polyesters are one of the important classes of biodegradable polymers. Some important examples are given below. First, polybeta hydroxybutyrate, cobeta hydroxyvalerate, that is PHBV. It is obtained by the copolymerization of 3 hydroxybutanoic acid and 3 hydroxypentanoic acid PHBV is used in specialty packaging orthopedic devices and in controlled release of drugs PHBV undergoes bacterial degradation in the environment second nylon 2 nylon 6 it is an alternating polyamide copolymer of glycine and amino caproic acid and is biodegradable can you write the structure of this copolymer Topic 15.5 Polymers of Commercial Importance Besides the polymers already discussed, some other commercially important polymers along with their structures and uses are given below in Table 5 are given below in Table 15.1. Summary of Chapter 15 Polymers Polymers are defined as high molecular mass macromolecules which consist of repeating structural units derived from the corresponding monomers. These polymers may be of natural or synthetic origin and are classified in a number of ways. 
in the presence of an organic peroxide initiator, the alkenes and their derivatives undergo addition polymerization or chain growth polymerization through a free radical mechanism. Polythene, Teflon, Orlon, etc. are formed by addition polymerization of an appropriate alkene or its derivative. Or its derivative. Condensation polymerization reactions are shown by the interaction of bi or polyfunctional monomers containing NH2, OH and COOH groups. This type of polymerization proceeds through the elimination of certain simple molecules as H2O, CH3OH, etc. Formaldehyde reacts with phenol and certain simple molecules. Formaldehyde reacts with phenol and melamine to form the corresponding condensation polymer products. The condensation polymerization progresses through step by step and is also called as step growth polymerization. Nylon, Bakelite and Dacron are some of the important examples of condensation polymers. However, a mixture of two unsaturated monomers exhibits copolymerization and forms a copolymer containing multiple units of each monomer. Natural rubber is a cis 1,4 polyisoprene and can be made more tough by the process of vulcanization with sulfur. Synthetic rubbers are usually obtained by copolymerization of alkene and 1,3-butadiene derivatives. In view of the potential environmental hazards of synthetic polymeric wastes, certain biodegradable polymers such as PHBV and nylon 2-nylon 6 are developed as alternatives. Thank you.